Rich here is holding the greatest invention in the 20th century. Well, next to styling moose, that is. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't like what's on channel 2, you click it to channel 4. If you don't like what's on channel 4, you click it to channel 7. And you keep on clicking it until you find a station that isn't showing reruns of MASH. <laughs> and if you're real lucky, you might even get some of those great old movies where they had those great teams that made screen history, like Tracy and Hepburn and Fred and Ginger, Frankie and Annette. Tammy and Jim, Robert and Bush. <laughs> All the great comedy teams. <laughs> Why don't you press that remote? Let's see if we can find some of those great couples. Done. Ah, oh, my little chickadee, may I kiss those exciting little digits? Oh. Ah, smooth as a baby's bottom, may I partake in a second portion? Oh. Ah, oh. oh, my little flower bell. The astounding paltritude of thy petals overwhelms me. Ooh. Your unsullied lips, your wasp-like waist, your curved ankles. What are you doing, making love or taking inventory? I see my little anaconda is a bit skittish. Her purity almost unhinges my base desires. You know... I used to be Snow White, but I drifted. Drifted? More like an avalanche to me. I used to be ashamed of the way I lived, but that's all in the past. You mean you have changed, my little flower bell? No, I just stopped being ashamed. Godfrey Daniels, a woman after my own heart, come. Let us retire to the drawing room for a cup of mocha java. <laughs> I finally met the perfect girl. I could not ask for more. She's very rich and oversexed and owns a liquor store. Oh. <laughs> ah, double all that time. <laughs> Oh, that was cute. That was you fun. You look good, babe. Oh, you yes. think so? I like the hat. Especially like the hat. Hat hat, yes. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear what Mae West said when uh, somebody asked her about her men? She said, there's only two kinds of men that I like, foreign and domestic. Ah, yes. <laughs> Did you hear what W.C. Fields said when they asked him why it is he doesn't drink water? No. Can't stand water. Fish function in it. <laughs> After that, I think we should go quickly to the television. I think so. Our next team. Well, last night you said I was to do the thinking for both of us. Well, I've done a lot of it since then, and it adds up to just one thing. You're getting on that plane with Victor Laszlo where you belong. Rick, darling, why are you saying this? I'm saying all this because it's true. Inside of us, we both know you belong to Victor. You're part of his work. You're what keeps him going. But... Uh... When that plane leaves the ground and you're not on it, you'll regret it. But, or maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon and for the rest of your life. But, we'll always have Paris. We didn't have, we lost it. You came to Casablanca. We got it back last night. But, Rick... Well, I said I would never leave you and I never will. But I've got a job to do. Where I'm going, you can't follow. What I've got to do, you can't be any part of. I'm no good at being noble, but it doesn't take much to see that the problems of three little people don't amount to a hill of beans in this crazy world. Or well, someday you'll come to understand that. Well, here's looking at... at you, kid. That's a beautiful farewell speech. But there's only one thing wrong. What? You talk so long the plane left without me. Ah, who cares? I tell you what, let's go to the bar and I'll do the farewell speech to the Maltese Falcon. When a man's partner is killed, you're supposed to do something about it. <laughs>